Hey guys, sorry I haven't posted a lot. Uh, my internet has been in and out, mostly out. <laughs> I don't know. I did read when I was at work that some other people were having issues as well and even with Cricut. So I don't know. My phone's been kind of iffy, you know, the past few days. Well, my internet hasn't worked in a few days. My Cricut, my hotspot. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully that gets fixed soon. Anyway, can't post a lot because I have to drive and, and post. So anyway, nothing really new. I am going to post, um, I'm going to post a video as soon as I can. I went up to Bean Station a few days ago, uh, actually Monday. The owner there wanted me to come up and just do a little video for him. And I took some pictures out there and yeah, I he wanted me to do that for him, so I did go up there. It was a beautiful day, and I took a video for YouTube as well to show again because it's been months since I've been up there, so in case anybody else wants to see because I'm pretty sure they still have lots available, so you can, you know, maybe contact them and um, ask, see for yourself. I know he said they're moving in houses now, so that's exciting. But yeah, I took a, a nice video. I mean, Cody went there, walked around. Really nice day. So be watching for that. I will post that as soon as I can. With my internet, I don't know when. <laughs> I'll try to very soon. Anyway, Cody says hello. He did so good when I was at work the other day. I took him because my mom has COVID. She is, by the way, doing much better, she said. It was tough for a while, you know, her throat hurt really bad, and it's kind of like how I had it, too. It was it was awful, so um, it's nice out. I have the windows open. Nice to have them open. Did a little laundry, but yeah, my mom is doing much better, so that is a good thing. I'm still not taking Cody there yet just to be safe, because she's not 100% better yet. Anyway, you guys, I had to tell you something. It's so funny. Well, my mom told me the other day, you know, she checked the post office. We still have the post office. I don't check as often as I I used to because I live 25 minutes from there. But we do still have the post office for now. And she checks it. So we hadn't gone in a few days. And I think she said there were two boxes there. So I'm super excited to go and see what that is and... Yeah, so that'll be fun. I'll probably stop by tomorrow and get them. I don't really want to go in her house yet because I still don't want to take a chance of getting that and missing work. So super excited for that. Anyway, I had to tell you guys, I was, I was doing some spark orders today and I had the internet for a while, you know, and something popped up. I don't know how I found it. It was on Newport Plain Talk. It's a newspaper. And I, when I tell you, I almost spit my coffee out. <laughs> I'm serious. I almost spit my coffee out. And you will hear why. Maybe you guys will think this is exciting. I am 100% glad now that I am out of ITH. Because I don't like this stuff. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to tell you guys here. Hold on. All right. I'm comfy in bed. I'm going to tell you what came across Facebook um, in the Newport Plain Talk. Anyway, you know there is... Oh, my hair is wonky. It's been raining. It's wild. Um, take two. <laughs> anyway, I can't quit laughing. Ow, my back cracked. Anyway, there w was... Um, this real eyesore that was practically diagonal from me in the forest. And it was, you know, I guess it used to be an old garage and it had all these junk cars like completely up the hill, way behind. I mean, it just went on and on. And I saw that, you know, it must have been a garage. Well, I've been going by lately and there was a for sale sign and I didn't see it anymore. So on there it said, garage permanently closed. So I thought, oh, well, that's nice. I saw a bunch of cars gone. So I thought, oh, wow, they're finally, you know, cleaning that up. That's good because that, that's an eyesore. 
Well, um, it used to be, it used to say Speedway. Because when I first moved to ITH, I told my mom, I said, Mom, if their race is there, I'm leaving right now. <laughs> well, on Facebook, I found it said, starting this summer, that the new owner is going to start races back up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry to laugh, but I would not want to live there. I mean, I've been to races before <laughs> years ago. And it is so loud. Not that, not just that, but it's also the traffic. And then the people drinking and it's just so noisy, revving cars. And I thought, oh my gosh, I am so glad I don't live at ITH anymore. And maybe it won't be a problem for anybody. They can have that. Maybe they'll want to go to the races. I would not. I about spit my coffee out, you guys. I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to start races up again. <laughs> so glad I'm not there anymore. Okay. I'm done laughing at that, but, um, maybe some of you are excited. Anyway, I still have my gate. I still have to put it up. You guys don't think I don't like it. I am super excited, but it has been raining the past few days. So I'm not, I'm not, I haven't even been out to like put it up and I've been like, uh, -uh can't talk working quite a bit more but I am going to get that put up I'm really excited to do that for the first time <laughs> me not being able to do stuff really well but I'm super excited to try it anyway that's it for this short video I'm not sure when this will go through because I'm at home obviously and I don't know I don't know how it's going to work but when you do get this video be looking for the bean station one shortly after um, if you want to check that out as well and again I apologize I'm not on as much because the whole connection thing I don't know what really is going on I heard it's affected a lot of people so I don't know but let me know if you guys have had any issues um, let me know I heard AT&T I don't know but I will be back soon have a good weekend guys <laughs> bye